Hi, my name is Amy Brisgale. I am a professor of film and visual culture at the University of Aberdeen, and I'm about to take my students on a little walk, but it's not just any walk. This is a performative participatory walk. I use it to uh, teach them about performance art, the genre that I study. So this is a piece that was adapted from a performance scripted and scored by Czech artist Milan Knižák in the 1960s, and it was a walk around Prague. Now I've adapted it for the University of Aberdeen campus, but this year I also adapted it for COVID times. So these are the instructions that the students got about the walk. You'll see them in this walk uh, referring to them. Um, normally, I just adapt this for the University of Aberdeen campus, but now I've added in COVID restrictions, so always maintaining the two meters physical distancing and the rule about remaining silent was uh, a, a part of the original performance. Oh, I think it's about time to go. I think let's 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 go see what what this is all about. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's a fun thing for me to do with my students every year and the students really enjoy it. If you're wondering what it meant, well, it meant several things. First of all, my students became the artists. Of course, the piece was written by Milan Knizak and so he is the author of the, the piece itself and the idea, but my students created the performance today. So they were also the artists. So in many ways, this democratizes the art process. Not, not, it's not just the great artist genius that can create a work of art, but everyone can do it. Even, you know, even people who've never created an artwork before. 
Um, the other thing is that this artwork, well, where is it? Can we, can we hold it? Can I bring it? Can I, can we hold it in our hands? Um, no, it is not an object base based form of art. So there is nothing to buy or sell. Um, and in many ways, artists were trying to get away from the buying and selling of art and, and art that was about, you know, higher ideas. Um, and then there's also the idea that it breaks up the monotony of the everyday. There was a lot of people on campus sort of looking, oh, what's going on, you know? So it breaks up the monotony of the everyday and gets you to look at things maybe um, a little bit differently. So I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.